And um, I appreciate the offer you gave me. I just I couldn't do it right then. Things will be better in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so. Um, I'm in hiatus right now. I'm injured, so I haven't been doing videos. I always wondered how they linked my videos to Willie Pete and Gia and and all those people they, they found me to be linked to. Um, right now I've been trying to upload two videos, an interview I did with Sexy Sci-Fly and um, a music video. They're still loading right now. It's been over 30 minutes. I'm about 15, 20 minutes late for work and I came across you. I'm going to stop calling you Liberation Man because um, you know, I haven't seen you on that page in a while. So I'm going to call you, I guess, 305636. You know, whatever. You're right. Who determines how they link our videos? Um, it's surprising that you, your earlier videos, the video quality is on hit. I love your videos. I always liked your videos. But have you noticed that the more respect we get from people and our peers, the, the crappier our quality gets? I'm not worried about who they link me to. I'm worried about what they did to the quality of our videos. If we sit here and shake our asses and talk nonsensical bullshit, the videos come out clear as long as you got an ass in the screen. You can look at any of those videos that have a sexual theme to it or whatever, and the videos are clean. On top of that, I hear that uh, YouTube is owned by um, Fox. Yes. They say YouTube is owned by Fox, the Fox Network, which has been bashing black people. So maybe when we speak positive, those people at Fox are watching these videos and go ahead and think, you know, it is just uh, 30, 56, 36. You know, he's making sense. Maybe we should make his videos fucked up. The real AIX, maybe we should make his videos look fucked up. Because once you got a fucked up quality video, people tend to tune out. Um, like I said, I wish I could have hit you back on that, on that the offer. But I can't do it right now. I went and dumped a bunch of money into the real AIX.com. Didn't cost that much, but what little bit I had to dump into it is dumped. Um, and I've been trying to work on that. Um... There are several things that me and you can work on that, that we discussed before, and I'm glad and willing to work on it with you. Once I get done with this busy part of my schedule and season, this is like the busiest part of the season, and I'm working injured, so you know it's kind of hard to go to work and pretend like you can walk when you really can't. <laughs> so, um, man, let me tell you, it's been a while since um, I've been touching this YouTube thing last couple of weeks maybe I dropped like three videos or whatever and the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm starting to wean myself off of YouTube there's uh, too much drama when we start getting going we, we get going we have a good role going and everybody seems to be happy and all of a sudden there's wise drama YouTube has given us a vehicle for people to blow up their heads you know what I mean by blow their head up I mean they get big headed and I hate big headed people you know and that is a cool magnet my cousin had found one and um, I went to his house and he was showing off and da, 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 da. somehow the magnet got you know stuck to my pocket when I left so um, I lost mine about five six years ago but um hey wait a minute hey mine was round just like that one Shiny, just like that one. Where your cousin find that, that damn magnet at? Oh. So let's get back on point. Um, YouTube can make porno stars out of these people. Shake your ass long enough, you got a big enough booty and some titties swinging, and somebody gonna call you. Um, I would hate that the title of this be true. Because I got like halfway through the video and I, I had to jump on it because I ain't seen you in a while. Um, it's sad to to watch YouTube shape people the way it's shaping people. Um, for a moment there, my head got big. I thought I was the greatest thing since cheese, and all of a sudden, you know, I started YouTube jail getting 15, 20 damn YouTube channels and shit. And I had to come back to reality. I'm the real AIX. 
I'm getting drama from some fools called themselves Real AIX. He's had Real AIX longer than I had the Real AIX. But he watches videos and talks shit. Um, I'm the Real AIX. I'm talking to the people. I'm not talking at the people by typing in the bottom of the screen. This YouTube drama is getting outrageous. Um, just recently, I think I said on the last video I did that, I saw a... Um, uh, a video and this uh, this cat was talking to people about when you do your videos be prepared for hate it's easier for people to say something hateful than something good and I appreciate the fact that when I said something wrong in this one video back in the day you corrected me and you corrected me in a manner to where it was respectful now I've always respected you for that and I love you for that brother there's a problem we have in our country with black people, white people, and all people. The lack of basic respect. Whenever I've seen your videos, out of all the videos I've seen, I've never seen you come off as a disrespectful person. You come off as one of the most educated people I've seen on YouTube, but I don't know what kind of education you got. You might have the same basic kind of education I got. This is what they gave me. That's the education I got. I love watching your videos. It's because even if you're rattled, you don't let yourself be rattled. I appreciate that. A few times when people have said some things hateful to me, I just jumped on them and started talking shit. As an adult, I'm bigger than that, and I had no business doing that. There's a few people out in this YouTube world who are bullies and who like to pick on other people and you know, you're strong, survive, bullshit. You are one of the strong. And as long as you're on YouTube, man, then YouTube is worth watching. We lost a good person today. I don't know if you like Jay Ryder or not. But Jay Ryder is no longer with us on YouTube. He's moved on to bigger and better things, such as blog, blog, blog talk radio, or blog talk dot com or whatever. That's what he's doing now. I would like one day to maybe start some blog type shit, you know, but, you know, be honest with you, I think that phone call was like seven bucks, eight bucks for me to be on that show, nine bucks or some shit like that, my nights and weekends hadn't really kicked in yet, you feel me, so, you know, doing it all on the cell phone and shit cost me a pretty penny, that's not why I didn't go back, but I haven't been back because of people don't allow people to get their points across, the show, I listen to the show every now and then. I'm commenting on a show that I was not too happy about. But, you know, when you do what we're doing on YouTube and, and the Internet, we're starting something new. This is the new UHF. And people out there who don't know what VHF and UHF is because they've only been grown up with cable. This is the new free TV. Everything else in the future, starting February, something's going to be digital. Isn't that kind of odd? Everybody walking around in California, you're forced to wear this headpiece in your car and all these different stipulations and humans are all plugged up into, into the matrix. And starting uh, February 19th, the matrix is going to be all digital. I wonder what's going to happen February 19th when everything, all the, the TV networks or whatever, they, uh, go digital. I'm busting off into some conspiracy theory shit out of my head, and this is not even on cue with what you had going on in your video. So I'll stop right there. Thank you once again for your time that you've put into your videos. Because without you on this YouTube, I probably would have been gone a long time ago. I, I say this to a lot of people that I watch, and I like your videos. I like I like the conversation we had on the phone. I'm sorry that. I couldn't hook up with you faster and until just now, but when you get injured and shit, you got to wean your way back into regular life. Um, once my leg is all healed up and I stop pretending like I'm, you know, well, then um, everything would be all good. Let me touch on one thing for like the last 10 seconds. Here in America, we have problems with health care. I went to the emergency room. I told the lady, how much is this going to cost me to get checked? From fifteen hundred to four thousand dollars. I went to the next place. How much is this gonna be? From three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars and up. Then I went to Walmart. Sixty nine dollars and up. There you go.